Hello so guys, today I'm going to show you what you can do if it gives you like a can't install error code or something like that. So first of all, what you want to do is you want to first of all make sure that your network is connected and that you have a decent internet connection. Now let's go over to our settings and you want to go over to your storage. So on your storage, just go ahead and make sure that you have enough storage to actually install your games and guys. What you want to do is you want to need a lot more space than it requires you to. So let's go back and let's go over to a game like Modern Warfare right over here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to this game. Let's go over to here, view product. And I'm going to show you something. So let's go over to here. So it says that it's a minimum about 138 gigabytes of space. So this is what it's required to. So you will have to have the space and not only this guys you will also have a lot more space left because you need a lot more space and the update files the add-ons and stuff like that will be also needed for this game so basically let me show you this let's go over to settings storage game apps and if i go over to here guys over to edit like you see guys there's a lot more add-ons that i need for this game there's like an update file, there is a campaign, and it's taking so much space. So, it actually doesn't even show how much space it takes, but it's a lot. And yeah, you can actually try to maybe delete these, but uh, sometimes you do need them to play the game. So, for example, if I delete one add-on, sometimes it requires you to download it back to actually access some stuff on your game itself and yeah so let's just say that the game is 100 gigabytes right so you want to make sure that you have at least about 150 or 160 or sometimes even up to 180 of free space and now let's go back to system on system you want to go over to system software and go over to system software update and settings so what i recommend you guys to do is enable these two so it can automatically update while playing a game, for example. And if you want to also automatically download or update a game, you want to go for it to power saving, go for the features available in rest mode. And you want to make sure that you enable this setting over here so you can actually download while in rest mode. So thank you for watching, guys. Please like, subscribe and take care.